अगर कोई ना देखे तो कौन हो तुम अगर कोई ना टोके तो कौन हो तुम तुम भले ना मानो मगर जैसे हकीकत में हो सबसे खूबसूरत हो तुम रिप्रेजेंटिंग दिल्ली जो शहर नहीं महफिल है आई एम एला देव वर्मा The youngest contestant in the history of Miss Trans Queen India, having a turbulent childhood and being subject to many years of bullying, took its toll on me. I remember looking in the mirror and barely recognizing the broken down and hollow version of myself that was left from living an inauthentic life for so many years. And then, with the last bit of fleeting hope and courage that I had left within me, I took perhaps the greatest risk that I have ever taken and that was to be seen as I truly am. I came out to my family and friends about my transgender identity and embarked upon the most magical and fulfilling journey of self-discovery. It wasn't easy, but it was right. I cried, but I also conquered. I lost and then I loved again. The most testing bit of this journey however was this immense loneliness I felt. There weren't very many people like me in media or films that I could relate to. And my friends and family as lovely as they are could only sympathize and never truly empathize. I soon realized this major lack of representation that existed with regards to the transgender perspective. This lack of representation is what fueled me to talk about my journey publicly. I started making educational videos about the psychosocial aspects of being transgender. And today, with nearly 15,000 followers on Instagram and YouTube combined, I have managed to help people all across the world feel seen and represented through my work. Today, I am a model, a content creator, and an aspiring psychologist. I live a life that is authentic and rewarding and I'm thrilled to have a platform like Miss Trans Queen India to represent not only myself but the millions who are like me, who are just as capable, worthy and beautiful, only not as lucky. It is my greatest honor to be a voice for those whose fates have been bound to the red lights. whose destinies have been locked away in brothels and hopefully do my bit of creating a world where transgender people living respectable lives is the standard and not a sensation